Yeah. Oh, I, can I walk on the steps? Oh, yeah. Jump up and down if you want. Jump up and down. Yeah, I'm past jumping up and down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just lay a full block back there. Ah. Uh, um, with mud. That, I have to cut. Oh. Yeah, crap. Well, we're going to go hand me the level. Well, I'm glad to see you using your level as a hammer, <laughs> because I thought that I was the only one that was criminal enough to do that. Well, see that rubber in there? <laughs> excuses, excuses. It's a good excuse, right? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I really like your, I really like your curved little area there. I haven't really seen all of it. Oh, you've done some more there. It's come up. Come ah, up. really. Ah, it's really nice. Yeah. You're an artist, James. Thank you. In order to. Oh yeah. In order to cement it together, I need some finer um, sand. Because it's just uh, these other things got too many pebbles. I in think it. they call that washed sand here, don't they? Uh, I don't know. That's what we use all the time back in the states. Yeah, I don't they know. Block is washed sand. Yeah, a lot of a lot of it here is uh, straight from the creek, you know. Yeah. So are you going to put a nice? Are you going to extend that out a little there, so you get one of those uh, little circular uh, tree benches? Yeah, that would be really nice, wouldn't last it? Last night, fill that in and then put a straight ledge out there so we uh, can put a chair and yeah. stuff out there. It's funny when you when you highlight things like that tree has just been stood there um, anonymously for all its life, and now you've put that little curved area in, all and suddenly it's suddenly it's a beautiful tree. Center it, of it, attention. Yes, it's yeah. true, isn't it? What's the plan for that huge coconut tree? The felled coconut tree. Yeah. Where's the coconut tree? Yeah. That one there? Yeah. Oh, that'll probably stay there. Yeah. There's a lot of maintenance in those trees. You gotta keep things clean around it. And yeah. Don't set anything underneath. You don't want... No, well, plummeted. everybody will be yelling, snakes, snakes. I plan on uh, buying a weed eater. Keeping this yeah. cut. I thought that that would be a good investment because we've got all of that, all of that stuff Everything. up there, the back. It's just, and it's so, I mean, it's just so prolific, isn't it? I mean, it just come, you get a fall of rain and it all comes it back up again. Comes to life. Yeah. Are you going to put a wall in here? Yeah. Uh, that'll look tremendous. Those will be a different kind of block. We'll have to make them. Yeah. Pour concrete and then chop them. Up set them in there. Why don't you why don't you do some of the stonework like they're doing, you know, by the church? Oh I saw that, yeah. Uh, have you seen how <laughs> that's a really substantial piece of work there. Yeah, it's about six off. feet thick. Our, why is it so it's thick? about six believe me, it's about six it must be nearly six feet thick. Uh, so you could stand on the top of it. You could dance on the top of that. Um, and and goes all the way down. It's about What's probably five of it? feet. It's a, it's a retention wall. Ah. For that's um, that particular part there is is heavy on the uh, uh, the landfall. Land you know, avalanche, slide. avalanche. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, look, I'm not here to stop you working. I did oh, it's just fine. wanted we to. Oh, go get the kids right here. Yeah. And I'm just trying to got to gather up the wall bags and get some of that good sand. Right. I don't know where you. I don't know where you can get that. Ah, uh, the Brungai captain or whoever it is down there. Ah, the one on the left as you go down. Yeah. Huh? He's got some there, and, and uh, I'll just go bag it up myself. But he's. He said he'd bring the stuff, but it's only on Sunday. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't so know. So that hasn't worked out very well for us. Uh, but all of these, all of the retaining walls going in, uh, they actually make, they make the uh, the feel of the whole place. Place, huh? You know, they re they make it the difference between between here and just any house that's thrown up. Mm -hmm. It makes your land a little more accessible, usable. Yes. Other than just yeah. Letting the water wash the top soil right. down to the bottom. Well, because the land itself, Mother Nature will keep reshaping that. Oh, it will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Mother Nature. You've only got to look at the the place as you're going, as you're going down, and you go past the second from here, the second Gemellina tree. Now you do that sharp left turn, mm -hmm. and as you go up and over there, the road branches doesn't branch off; it curves off to the left. And over the hill. Now, before that, just on the right there was was the road, and and that was the road. Yeah, uh, it's amazing. No more. It's uh, it's been reclaimed by Mother Nature. The Fawn River. <clears throat> One year it's flowing its way down here like this, and you go back there. Uh, we do a lot of hunting and stuff, so yeah. uh, you pick out your tree stands and etc right. or whatever you're doing back mm. there well you come back a year later where'd the river go you know it's mm. it moves yeah a tree will fall or you'll have some mudslide or something not so much mudslide but yeah. debris and stuff gets in the river well that water will find another path Mark, soon it's cut another path over here and there's yeah. more water here mark twain wrote about his uh, his experiences as a pilot on the mississippi and and he gave examples of where an entire town that had been on the river was bypassed yeah. and left and left dry yeah. by, by the Mississippi you, uh, which is a huge river. I love to uh, pan for gold and just go out just just to be in the wilderness yeah. not necessarily to find yeah. gold or, or get rich or anything it's just I love to be out in nature and there's places where you look on the map and they say it's it's a it's a riverbed. Well, how can it be a riverbed? <laughs> River's a mile away, but that's right. the river. That's nature. Yeah. So either man did something to stop it and it found another path, or yeah, or a oh, small it does earthquake. it does it on its own. It's it uh, it's amazing own. how that happens. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, like digging a well, there's underground rivers everywhere in, yeah. in the states yeah you just have to find them there's um up at the village of hope i think it was uh, either the village of hope or, or phillips place and they they had a well dug which was which was very good giving great supply of water mm -hmm. then there was an earthquake and there was a side shift and the the Jeez. bottom half of the well moved left and the bot the top half stayed where it was <laughs> cut off the water and that, yeah. and that was it so they really need to drill again yeah. if they're to get water or from pull that one and, and put a new screen on the bottom yeah I've had to do that already pull the pipe and change out the screen and then put it back down uh, yeah. it is really hard some of them underground rivers they're encased in the hardest clay in the world Right. Almost like rock. A and white, and there is a, a white rock. yeah, there is a rock there. Mm -hmm. but there's a coloured rock that is extremely hard. Uh, and you need once you hit that, you really are looking at having to drill. Because I'm wow. talking I'm talking local yeah. local wells where everything is drilled. Mm -hmm. And up in Ubai where Pastor Gilbert where Pastor Gilbert was uh, digging a well he went down about 40 feet. Really? And I told you, uh, his, his were, the, the air down there was getting pretty bad. You know, um, I think they knew, they knew well enough to rotate the guys. But that was the one where I told you they had the bucket on about 30 or 40 feet of rope and they lowered it down and then they just walked away. Two men just pulled it, and they walked away 40 feet, and that brought the bucket, the oh, bucket up. Oh my goodness! It was really great to see. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm back on.
I'm back on duty. You gotta get back to work, yeah. huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> see you later. Talk to you later. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, thanks to James for another entertaining chat and another look at the uh, the way that the house is, uh, well, it's just, I love it. I, I really love it. Love all the retaining walls and how it's all shaping up. And that, I like that around that tree. I think that's a young mango tree that is behind James and the red truck. And he's made a really nice little seated area there. And all of this, the way that I look at all of this and, and have my hopes for how we're going to be addressing uh, our area up here with the landscaping, all of the retaining walls because we're on a hill. That's all part and parcel of it. So I'm back in the blue, go down and they'll load up another uh, load of, uh, of gravel. Okay, talk to you later.